Good morning everyone, especially in our merge class, section B. Good morning also to our advisor, Sir Florland, and we are the group 2 of section A. And we are about to present the works of Rizal's High Education and Life Abroad. Rizal's High Education And this is the content about Rizal's High Education and Life Abroad. Manuel Silis Borgos, because of his intercession, Nephew of Father Burgos, Rizal was reluctantly admitted at Ateneo. Jose was the first of his family to adopt the surname Rizal. He registered under this name at Ateneo because their family name is Mercado. Mercado had come under the suspicion of the Spanish authorities. And then, Rizal was first boarded in a house outside Intramuros on Caraballo Street. This was owned by a spinter's name, Titay, who owned the Rizal family, the amount of 300 pesos. And then to improve his Spanish, Rizal took private lessons in Santa Isabel College. Rizal entered in 1872 under Jesuit system of education. At the name Municipal College under the supervision of Spanish Jesuits. And then this college was a bitter rival of the Dominican owned college of San Juan de Letran. It's formerly Escuela Pia or Charity School. Name of Ateneo. A school for poor boys in Manila, which was established by the city government in 1817. June 10, 1872, Rizal, accompanied by Pasiano, went to Manila. The next is Father Magin Ferrando, was the college registrar, refused to admit uh, Rizal in Ateneo for two reasons. The two reasons are he was late for registrations and he was sickly and undersized for his age because Rizal was then 11 years old. Rizal first year in Ateneo 1872 to 1873. June 1872, his first day of class in the Ateneo. In June 1872, Rizal first heard Mass at the college chapel and prayed fervently to God for guidance and success. And then, Rizal first professor in the Ateneo was Father Jose Beck. Second year in Ateneo, 1873-1874. Uh, nothing as usual happened to Rizal during his second term in the Ateneo, except that he repented, having neglected his studies the previous year simply because he was offended by the teacher's remarks and so to regain his lost class leaderships. He studied harder once more, he became imperial. Some of his some of his classmates were new. Among them were three boys from Binyan, who had been his classmates in the school of Maestro Hostiniano. At in the end of the school year, Rizal received excellent grades in all subjects and a gold medal with such a scholastic. Honors, he triumphantly returned to Calamba in March 1874 for summer vacation. Third year in Ateneo, 1874-1875, Rizal did not make an excellent showing in his studies as in the previous year. His grades remained excellent in all subjects, but he won only one medal in Latin. He failed to win the medal in Spanish. Fourth year in Ateneo 1875-1876, on June 16, 1875, Rizal became an interno in the Ateneo. Father Francesco de Paula Sanchez, one of his professors this time and a great educator and scholar, he inspired the young Rizal to study harder and to write poetry. On his part, Rizal had the highest affection and respect for Father Sanchez, whom he considered his best professor in the Ateneo. Rizal was top of all his classmates in all subjects and won five medals at the end of the school term. Okay, so I'm going to discuss his last year in Ateneo in 1876 to 1877. So his studies continued fair well. So as a matter of fact, he excelled in all subjects. So Rizal was the most brilliant Athenian of his time. So he was truly the pride of the Jesuits. 
So Rizzo finished his last year at the Ateneo in the place of glory. So he also obtained the highest grade in all subjects. So he also graduated with highest honor. Okay, so he graduated at the age of 16 years old on March 23, 1877. So he graduated with highest honors. So these are the honors that he received. So he graduated at the head of his class. So his scholastic records at the eight, Ateneo was eight, from 1872 to 1877 are followers. Okay, so these are all his achievements. So next. So what about his extracurricular activities? Okay, so he was also active in terms of their extracurricular activities. So an emperor inside the classroom, and he was a campus leader outside. So he was an active member, a secretary of a religious society, so the Marian Congregation. So Rizal was also a member of the Academy of Spanish Literature and the Academy of Natural Sciences. So, medical studies at the University of Santo Tomas. So, after he finished the first year course in philosophy and letters, so Rizal, he transferred to a medical course right after that. So, don't send him to Manila again. He knows enough. If he gets to know more, the Spaniards will cut off his head. Benet Tadora vigorously opposed the idea that Rizal pursue higher learning in the university. So, Rizal, who was then nearly 16 years old, matriculated in the University of Santo Tomas, so he took the course on philosophy and letters. So during his first term, in 1877 to 1878 in USD, he studied cosmology, metaphysics, geodesy, and history of philosophy. So the medical studies at the University of Santo Tomas. So Father Pablo Ramon Rector of Ateneo, who had been good to him during his student days in that college, asking for advice on the choice of a career, but unfortunately, he was in Mindanao. So it was during the following term, 1878-1879, that Rizal, he received the Ateneo's rector advice to study medicine. Okay? So during his first school term in the USD, or the University of Santo Tomas, Rizal also studied in Ateneo. He took vocational course leading to the title of Perito Agdemansor, expert surveyor, so he also excelled in all the subjects in the surveying course in Ateneo. Okay, so he also obtained gold medals in agriculture and topography. So in November 25, the title was issued to result for passing the final examination in the surveying course. Okay, so the faculty of medicine, so first year, so these are his awards okay, during the faculty of medicine. Rizal Life Abroad, Secret Mission in Spain. To observe keenly the life and culture, languages, and custom, industries, and comments. As it turned out, Rizal secret mission was to observe the life, culture, law, and government of countries in Europe in preparation of liberating the Philippines from Spain's tyrannical rule. So, what is tyrant rule? Unjustly, cruel, and harsh. For example, government by a ruler or small group of people who have unlimited power over the people in their country or state and use it unfairly and cruelly. On November 3, 1882, Rizal was enrolled in Universidad Central de Madrid. Rizal was fell in love with Consuelo, but because Eduardo de Let was courting Consuelo, he did not pursue his feelings for her. And he was still in love with Leonor. Leonor Rivera was the childhood sweetheart of Jose Rizal. March 1883, he became a member of the Masonic Lodge known as Acacia. November 1985 Rizal was living in Paris, where he sojourned for about four months, 1852 to 1906. He worked as Dr. Louis D. Weckard's assistant, November 1885 to February 1886. Rizal was a well-known French. In November 15, 1890, 
Rizal became a Mason leader after he transferred to La Solaridad. After almost two years, February 15, 1892, Dalegran oriented the France in Paris conferred the Master Mason Diploma on Rizal. After Rizal completing studies at the Central Universities of Madrid at the age of 24 and already a physician, he also traveled to Paris to further his knowledge in ophthalmology. In November 1985, Rizal was in, living in Paris where he sojourned for about two months. 1852-1906, he worked as Dr. Louis de Weckert's as assistant. In November 1885-February to February 1886, Rizal was a well-known French. On January 1, 1886, he wrote a letter to his parents. The letter revealed that Rizal was rapidly improved his knowledge of ophthalmology. After acquiring enough experience as an ophthalmologist in Dr. Record's clinic, Rizal reluctantly left Gay Paris. And Rizal's gay tour, Grand Tour of Europe, with Dr. Viola in 1887. On May 11 of the same year, Rizal and Viola left Berlin by train. Their next destination was Dresden, one of the best cities in Germany. And when they arrived, they visited Dr. Adolf B. Mayer, and Rizal was deeply impressed by a painting of Prometheus Pound. And then they met Dr. Fyodor Hagar. They planned to visit late merits to see the blue merits. Rizal arrived from Germany, and Rizal and Blumetrit met in person and met each other in fluent Germany and they stayed in late marriage from May 17, 1887. They met Dr. Welcome, a professor of the University of Frog. Rizal and Viola visited the home of Copernicus, the famous astronomers, the Museum of Natural History, Bacteriological Laboratories, famous cave where St. Juan Neposomeno, the Catholic St was in prison and many more. On May 20, they went to Vienna, the Queen of Danube. They met Northern Pors, one of the greatest novelists in Europe. On May 25, Prisal and Viola left Vienna. Their next destination, they went to Stuttgart, Baden and Rainfall, the most beautiful waterfall in Europe. In February 8, 1888, after six months on Safino board, Rizal left Kalamba in February 7, 1887. Rizal did not leave his ship during a brief stop over in Amway for three reasons. He was not feeling well. It was raining hard and he heard that the city is dirty. And on February 8, 1888, he arrived already in Hong Kong, which was the British colony. In Hong Kong, Rizal stay at Victoria Hotel. Some of the Filipino residents welcome Rizal, including Jose Maria, Balbino Mauricio, and Manuel Yarte, the son of Francisco Yarte, alcalde mayor of Laguna. Jose Baranda was following Rizal's movements in Hong Kong at the time. He is thought to have been ordered to spy Rizal. According to Rizal, Hong Kong was small but being so many Portuguese Hindus, English, Jews, and Chinese. February 16, 1888, Rizal expressed his bitterness in a letter written in Blumenfit. They forced Rizal to leave the country while he was still sick. Domin Dominician witnessed Rizal holding secret meetings with men and women on top of the hill. February 19, 1888, Rizal witnessed a Catholic procession in which devout were dressed in blue and purple dress and carried unlight candles. During a second week stay at, in Hong Kong, Rizal studied Chinese life, language, drama, and custom. Rizal experienced noisy celebration of Chinese New Year, February 11 to 13. Departure from Hong Kong, February 22, 1888, Rizal board the Oceanic and American Streamer T-1 
Steamer and Life Hong Kong. Give to Japan short romance with a uh, with Osai san. But one of the happiest happiest includes in the life of Rizal was his Sohur Sohurn in the land of cherry blossom. For one month and half February twenty eighth, April thirteen, eighteen eighty eight. He was enchanted by the natural beauty of Japan. Rizal arrives in Yokum, Yokohama, the very 28, 1888. Tuesday morning, Rizal arrived in Yokohama. He registered at the Grand Hotel, March 2 to 7. Rizal proceeded to Tokyo and took a room of Tokyo Hotel. Rizal in Tokyo. During his first day in Tokyo, Rizal was embraced because he did not know the Japanese language. He looked like Japanese, but he could not talk Japanese. Rizal studied Japanese language and he was able to speak it with a few days. One, he could economize his living expenses by staying at the legation. And second, he had nothing to hide from the praying eyes of the Spanish authorized. Rizal impression of Japan. Rizal was favorably impressed by Japan. He was a keen observer, taking copious notes on the life, custom, and culture of the Filipino. Things which favorab favorably impressed Rizal in Japan were, number one, the beauty of the country, it flowers, mountains, streams, and scenic pano panorama, panoramas. Number two, the cleanliness, politeness, and industry of the Japanese people. Number three, the pictures, dress, and simple charm of the Japanese women. Number four, there, there were very few teams in Japan, so the house re remained open day and night, and, the, and in the hotel room, one could safely leave money on the, on the table. Number five, bay guards were rarely seen in the city streets, unlike in Manila and other cities. Romance with Usisan Usisan Siko Usoi, a samurai's daughter, 23 years old, and a pretty Japanese girl, whom Rizal was attracted by her regal loveliness and charm. Rizal and Usisan, as Rizal called her, meet almost daily. Together, they visited the interesting spots of the city, the Imperial Arts Gallery, the Imperial Library, the universities, the Chukubuchu Inn Botanical Garden, the city parks, particularly Hebeya Park, and the picture catering. Rizal so in love with Isan. The qualities of her ideal womanhood, beauty, charm, modesty, and intelligence, no wonder he feels deeply in love with her. Usisan helped Rizal in many ways. More than a sweetheart, she was his guide, interpreter, and tutor. She guides him in observing the shrine and village around Tokyo. She improved his knowledge of Nipongo Japanese language and Japanese history. Rizal's great love for Usisan is attested by the hero's diary. With his tenderly tragic and entry in his own diary, Rizal bent farewell to lovely Usisan. Trip to United States of America, 1888. His arrival in the country was ruined by racial prejudice. He documented what he observed during his trip from Francisco to New York. Saturday morning, April 28, 1888, Rizal dunk in San Francisco. Authorities did not let the passengers land for one week because of a rumored cholera outbreak. May 4, 1888, when Rizal registered at the first-class hotel in the city called Palace Hotel, he stayed there for three days. On May 7 to May 13, 1888, Rizal stayed at Nevada, Chicago. On, on May 13 to May 16, 1888, Rizal went to New York and stayed to the big town. Rizal in London, 1888-1889. Rizal reason for staying. To improve his knowledge on the English language to study and annotate Morgas Sassisus de las Islas, Filipinas. London was a safe place to, for him to carry on his flight against Spanish tyranny. While in London, he wrote articles for a so, solidaridad to the young woman of Malolos and completed Annotating Morgas book. Rizal, Rizal Indigen. Filipina Studies. Completed Annotating Morgas book. R write many articles that in defense of his people against Spanish critic. 
paid a famous letter to the young woman of Malolos, carried, carried voluminous correspondence with elementary and relatives and romans with Gertrude Bicke. Trip across the Atlantic. Rizal was on board the city of Rome while on board. Rizal entertained the American and European passengers with his marvelous skills of the yo-yo as a defensive weapon. Rizal arrived at Liverpool, England on May 24, 1888. He, he, he spent his night at Adelphi Hotel, Liverpool. He wrote to his family, is a big and beautiful city and its celebrated ports is worthy of its great fame. The entrance is magnificent and the custom, custom house is quite good. Life in London On May 25, 1888, went to London. He stayed as a guest at home of Dr. Antonio Maregidor, an exile of 1872 and practicing lawyer in London. He was a warrior of the working family. Mr. Vecant and organized at Santa Paul Church, Miss Vecant, his wife, his three sons, and four daughters. The eldest of the sister was Gertrude. We shall come to know Dr. Reinhold Rose, the librarian of Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the authority on Malayan, Malaya, Malayan language and customs. He called Rizal a, a field of a man, Ona Perla de Hombre. Rizal spent of his time the British Museum. Short visit to Paris and Spain. Early September 1888, he visited Paris for a week. He was entertained in this gay France metropolis by Juan Luna and his wife, Paz Prado de Tavera. On December 11, 1888, he went to Spain visiting Madrid and Barcelona. He met Marcelo H. de Pilar and Mariano Pons. Rizal returned to London on December 24 and spent Christmas and New Year with the Vac family. He sent Christmas gift to his friends. The blooming treat was of Emperor of Augustus. To Dr. Carlos Boyfus Joel Caesar, to Rizal Landley, Miss Beckett, a book entitled The Life and the Adventure of Valentin, Bugs, and Ventrilis. Thank you. Romance with Gertrude Beckett. Rizal had a romantic interlude with the oldest of the four Beckett sisters. Gertrude, Getty as she was affectionately called, was a buxom English girl with brown hair, blue eyes, and rosy cheeks. Gertrude Beckett was the daughter of the Rizal's landlord, Charles Beckett, who is an organist at St. Paul Church in London. She fell in love with Rizal. And there are three reasons why Rizal went to London. The first reason is to improve his knowledge in English language. The second reason is to study and annotate Morgas Sucesos de las Islas Filipinas. Um, Sucesos de las Islas Filipinas is a book written and published by Antonio de Morga, considered one of the most important works on the early history of the Spanish colonization of the Philippines. And the third reason is London is a safe place for him to carry his fight against the Spanish tyranny. Adios to London. Suddenly, on March 19, 1889, Rizal bade goodbye to the King Beckett family, and he left in London for Paris. He was sad as he crossed the English Channel, for he cherished so many beautiful memories of London. The main reason why Rizal left London is because Rizal planned to use the exposition to launch the study on the Philippines by holding the International Congress of the Association in August in Paris. In Belgian Brussels when Rizal moved to Brazil, he lived in a modest boarding house on the 38th Rue Philippine Champagne accompanied by Jose Albert. So, who is Jose Albert? Jose Albert is a former chief statistician of the Philippines and is the one who accompanied Rizal to move to Brazil, who later on left the city and was replaced by Jose Alejandro. Jose Alejandro is an engineering student who replaced Jose Albert. During his stay in the city, Rizal was busy writing his second novel, which was the continuation of Noli. Aside from this, he also writes articles for, a, for La Solidaridad and letters to his family and friends. Um, La Solidaridad is an organ organization that aims um, are described to, 
as to collect to gather liber libertarian ideas which are manifested daily in the field of politics, science, art, literature, commerce, agriculture, and industry. As a physician, Rizal spent part of his time in medical clinic. For recreation, Rizal had a gymnastic at the gymnasium and target practice and fencing at the armory. All his friends, including Blumentritt, Josema, Basa, and Ponce were horrified by Rizal's decision. They warned him of the danger that awaited him from home, but he ignored it. A letter from Pasiano changed his mind. He tells that they lost the case against the Dominicians in the Philippines. But they, uh, they appealed it to the Supreme Court in Spain, but a lawyer is needed to handle it in Madrid. Um, Rizal announced that he was leaving Brussels at the beginning of the following month and would be arrived in Madrid about the 3rd or 4th. Miss Fortune in Madrid, 1890-1891 Early in August, 1890, Rizal arrived in Madrid. He tried an all-legal means to seek justice for his family and Calamba tenants, but to no avail. On top of his misfortunes, his plans for 11 years, Leonor Rivera married a British engineer that unfortunate event broke his heart. Upon arrival in Madrid, Rizal upon arrival in Madrid, Rizal immediately sought the help of Filipino colony, the Association Hispano-Filipina and the Liberal Spanish Newspaper, La Justicia, El Globo, La República, El Resumen, and etc. In securing justice for the oppressed Calamba tenants, including his family. Adios Madrid. Rizal wrote a brief note taking, thanking his patriots for electing him as responsable. He packed up his bags, paid his bills, and boarded a train leaving for Biarritz. It was the, it was the last time he saw Madrid. His agonizing heart bade goodbye to the metropolis of which he had written years ago. Biarritz vacation and romance with Nelly Bustit. To seek solace for his disappointment, disappointments in Madrid, Rizal took a vacation in the resort city of Biarritz on the fabulous French Riviera. He was a guest of the rich Bustit family at its winter residence, Villa Eliada. On March 29, 1891, the eve of his departure from Biarritz, he finished the manuscript of his first novel, El Filibulis, El Filibure Busterismo, and he wrote a letter to Blumentritt. Rizal arrived at, uh, uh, in Biarritz on February 1891, stayed in the residence of the Busted in February 11, 1891. He wrote a letter to Mariano Ponce. Romance with Nelly Busted. Rizal described Nelly as a real Filipina, highly intelligent, vivacious in temp temperament and morally upright. His friend like M.H. Del Pilar teased him a letter from his friends came to answer his letters about their opinion to Rizal's letter. They didn't get married because of two things. Rizal doesn't want to be converted to a Protestant and the second reason is um, Nelly's mother was against the wedding. Pro Paris back to Brazil's retirement of propaganda movements. It was in January 28, 1891, Rizal arrived in Brussels. He left Paris due to the high cost of living because of existing universal exposition and because of the joyful life in the city hampered his literary works. Jose Rizal lived in the boarding house of her two Jacobi sisters, Katerina and Suzanne. Suzanne is a Belgian who loved Jose Rizal. What was Rizal's reason of migrating to Paris? He told his parents that he would be moving to Paris and Berlin to study ophthalmology under the best professors at the time. The eyesight of Theodora Alonso had gone worse. It was Rizal's desire to treat her upon his return to the Philippines. Bale, ang ginawa kasi niya si Rizal kaya siya pumunta doon para yung may cure niya yung kung paano niya gagamutin yung nanay niya kaya, kaya pumunta siya doon para mag-study. Why did Rizal became an ophthalmologist? He became an, he became an ophthalmologist because of deep love for his mother. 
the suffering motherland was under an abusive and oppressive foreign power and through his written work he hoped to open the eyes of both his countrymen and the Spanish authorities. Dr. Luis de Wecker in 1832-1906 was one of the foremost ophthalmologists of the 19th century. It was from him Rizal learned various types of, of surgery including the cataract surgery technique he used to treat his mother. Bala si Rizal ay naging pinuno ng kilusang reformista na tinatawag na propaganda. Isa hindi na natinatakampanya para sa mga kalayaang pampolitika at pandipunan. Na nagkalabi sa pamahalaang peninsular gamit ang kanilang mga koneksyon sa mga liberal na politiko, politikong Espanyol. Owing to the intrigues of his generous compatriots, Rizal retired from the propaganda movement or reform crusade. On May 1, 1891, he notified the propaganda authorities in Manila to cancel his monthly allowance and devote the money to some better cause, such as the education of a young Filipino student in Europe. Why did Rizal leave the propaganda movement? Rizal, de- Rizal decided to leave Europe to avoid the worsening rift between the Rizalistas and Pilaristas and to help maintain unity among Filipino expatriates. Bale, ang uh, major role ni Dr. Azel Rizal dito sa propaganda movement ay ang maging leader ko. In 1891, Rizal moved to Jen after a few months in Brussels in search of cheaper printing services. In September 1891, Rizal was able to publish his second novel, El Televisterismo. Bale, nung mundo na siya sa Rizal sa Jen, bale, nakakuha siya ng chief na boarding house at saka nakaroon na siya ng compatriots. Yun ay si na Jose Alejandro from Pampanga at saka si Edgar Peniberto, Evangelista from Manilaga. Bali, in 1891 to 1892, mag-isi Dr. Rosel sa Europe, pumunta siya ng Hong Kong. Isa sa mga reason na bakit siya umalis kasi hindi niya matiis dun sa Europe, mayroon sa mga, may mga difference na napotipikal, like uh, hindi niya maano si Marcelo H. Tepilar at saka yung mga ibang kasamahan niya dun sa mga Pilipinas sa Spain. In October 3, 1891, two weeks after the publication of Ely, Lisa left Jen for pa- Paris for his sake a few days to say goodbye to the Lunas, the Pardo de Ta- Beta Veras, the Venturas, and other friends. Lisa proceeded by the train to Marseilles. October 18, 1891, Lisa boarded the steamer Melbourne bound for Hong Kong. Father Fuchs, a tireless, Lisa enjoyed playing chess. Lisa described him to women trip as he is a fine fellow, a father that must be the pride and man. El Filipe was published in Gent in 1891. October 1887, while practicing medicine in Columba, Rizal began writing the manuscript for El Filipe was Is it called El Filipe was Inspired by what the word Filipe was connoted in relation to the circumstances of taming his time in his spirits, dampened by the tragic execution of the three martyred priests. Rizal at Tulay titled the second part of the Nolid Me Tangere and Philip Rosterismo. The message of Philip Rosterismo is, pre- is to present system of governing the Philippine through corrupt and self-seeking officials dominated by the friars and being submissive to their interests in one fashion or another can only lead to disaster for Spain. Bakit ba natin kailangan nabasayin ang, ang story ni El Philip Rosterismo? Dahil nagbibigay ito ng mensahe sa mga lipunan na ang mga mamamayan ang dapat na maging pinuno na namumuno sa tawa nito at hindi ang kamalitaran. Ang lakas na iyon ay nakasalalay sa bilang ng mga taong gusto magtuloyin ang isang bagay na hindi nalapat o magbigay ng boses sa mga dumalanas na kawalang katarungan. Kung sa alas tabi, ito sa President at No. 5, Regular State, No. 2, Red Nasola, Terrace. But he will also open his medical clinic. Bale, pumunta po ito sa Rosalisal sa Hong para makasakta. para mag-aaral mag- ng medicine. Makapag-practice ng medicine in between 1891 and 1892. Balay, 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 Um, para, makapag- para makapagpapara siya dun sa mga 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 Kaya, kaya yung mga ito sa mga lipin, sa mga lipin, sa mga lipin, sa And also, to serve these people who have long been oppressed by Spanish tyrants. So, dinito sa mga lipin, 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 sa
The Christmas of 1891 in Hong Kong was one of the happiest Ivitaid celebrations in Rizal's life. For he, he had a happy family reunion January 31, 1892. Rizal wrote the Blumentree recounting pleasant life in Hong Kong. Para mamimulis ang kanyang pamilya at si Dr. Salisal para dinulong niya yung pag-aaral niya sa pulsong medisina. Ang naging kaibigan ni Dr. Salisal na si Dr. Lorenzo P. Marquez, a Portuguese physician. Na-admire siya sa ginawa ni Dr. Salisal kaya dahil dito, balik tinulungan niya si Dr. Salisal para makapag-build ng maraming client. Kaya dahil dito, tinatarno over niya lahat kay Dr. Salisal kapag may mga ice cases. Naging matagumpay ang operasyon ni Dr. Rosalizal sa mama niya. Kaya dahil dito, malay nakakapagpasa na ulit yung mama niya at nakakapagsulat na rin. Last trip abroad of Rosalizal in 1896. While Rizal was patiently waiting on the Pusar in Castilla for the next few months to take him to Spain, important two events occurred, researching uh, the crown fall of Spanish power in Asia. August 19, 1896, the Katipunan plot to overthrow Spanish Dual by means of revolution was discovered by Fray Mariano Hill, Agustinian Pura of Tondo. Departure of Rizal for Spain the day when the state of war was proclaimed in the eight provinces. So General Blanco proclaimed a state of war in the first eight provinces, which are Manila, Bulacan, Pampanga, Cavite, Batangas, Laguna, Tarlac, and Nueva Ecija. So ito ang kauna-unahang naglungsad ng revolution against sa Spanish rule. Rizal received from Governor General Blanco two letters of introduction the Minister of War, the Minister of Colonists with a covering letter, which absolved him from all blame for raiding revolution. So, nakatanggap si Rizal ng sulat kay Governor General Blanco na hindi si Rizal ang nagsimula ng revolusyon at mangyari na wala siyang kinalaman dito. Kaya hindi sinisi si Rizal sa revolusyon. September 7, the Isla de Panay arrived at Singapore. So, dumating ang sasakyan ni Rizal. He transferred to Isla de Panay papunta ng Spain. So, dahil hindi siya sinisi sa revolusyon, so, nag-continue ang journey ni Rizal. So, Don Pedro Rojas, nung dumating na ng Singapore, he advised Rizal to stay and take advantage of protection of British law because during that time, Singapore is a colony of ng British or Europe. So, victim of Spanish duplicity. By refusing to break his word of honor in Singapore, Rizal sealed his own doom. For without his knowledge, Governor Blanco was strictly conspiring with the Minister of War and the colonies for his destruction. September 8 at 1 p.m., the Isla de Panay with Rizal on board left Singapore unaware of the Spanish duplicity, particularly of Governor General Blanco infernal deceit. So General Blanco has a bad plan. So in September 25, he saw a steamer Isla de Luzon leaving Swaz Canal cramped with Spanish troops. So that time he realizes na niloloko siya. So he wrote a letter to his best friend. He was officially notified by Captain Alemani that he should stay in his cabin until further orders from Manila. So in September 30, the steamer anchored at Malta. So Rizal was not able to visit the island fortress of the Christian Crusaders. So in October 3, Isla de Panay arrived in Barcelona. So this time, Rizal is a prisoner. So the trip lasted 30 days. Manila to Barcelona. So that time, his jailer was no longer the ship captain, but the military commander of Barcelona, who happened to be General 
Eulogio Despujol, the one who ordered to banish to the Pitan in July 1892. Rizal was taken out of prison by the guards and brought to the headquarters of General Despujol. So the ship, the ship left Barcelona with Rizal on board and arrived at Fort Santiago Rizal cells.